The current mining location has been operating since 1962 and creates about 65 million tons of aggregate per year, but it's estimated to become depleted by 2025. The additional land being sought in this application would extend the life of operations at the Milton Quarry by three to seven years. The proposed extension to the Milton Quarry is exactly where the region of Halton plans for such use. One of the objectives of the area is to provide for the consideration of new mineral aggregate operations in this area. The site is mapped and protected in the region of Halton official plan for future extraction. The presentation to council also pointed out that the site is not located in a prime agricultural location. It's outside of the municipal wellhead protection zone and is well separated from the nearest resident at a distance of roughly 1.2 kilometers. Still, there are concerns. We own 51 acres directly north of the quarry where all the blasting is taking place. We purchased the property seven years ago, restored a home, made it our dream home. And as a result of the blasting, the, the house is crumbling, our well has been compromised. The company is aware that there has been uh, concerns from a resident located to the north regarding blasting concern with foundation. Uh, there have been discussions, there is uh, monitoring that takes place for every blast that takes place and uh, blasting has confirmed that it is within provincial limits. Additional concerns were raised about the environmental impact as a whole. And in our opinion, the escarpment is being diced up by a thousand cuts and bleeding to death. And nobody looks at the whole picture, only the site itself and not adjoining issues. I just wondered if there was, you know, kind of a changing attitude towards limitations of growth um, as, as we are seeing that we have to do with climate change, as we've got to change the amount of carbon going into the air and so on. A representative for Dufferin Aggregates pointed out the company's track record in rehabilitating former mining sites. In 1990, operations in this area finished and soils were strategically replaced, native vegetation planted, and the area was allowed to flood to create wetland aquatic habitat. Dufferin regularly monitors its rehabilitation efforts to help educate and guide future rehabilitation at the site. Staff at Halton Region anticipate providing a technical review and staff recommendation report later this year. In addition to requiring an amendment to the official plan at the regional level, this process also needs approval from the town of Halton Hills. Dufferin needs further approvals from the Niagara Escarpment Commission and the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. Jason Trout for Halton News in Halton Hills. Today.